This is Bill Hast with his assistant, Nancy Harrell. He's a scientist who is away with reptiles. He once financed his research by putting on shows in which he astonished audiences by catching cobras with his bare hands, a feat he has promised to perform for us today. He then proceeded to extract the venom from the snakes, a technique that he will also duplicate. Most of the venom that Bill Hast obtains by risking his life goes to research laboratories around the world to save the lives of others. It's the principal ingredient of a drug called Provenom, which has astounded doctors with its almost miraculous effect on arthritis and multiple sclerosis victims. Although Bill provides this drug to doctors at cost, only a few states, such as Florida, have allowed him to treat otherwise incurable patients with it. Many people collect snakes as a hobby and consider them fascinating pets. Now, they're moving a serpent called a coach whip to another room. Its bite isn't fatal, but Nancy makes the mistake of taking it for granted just a moment too long. Ouch! You guys are doing Now, to anyone who has aspirations to be a snake handler, this would be a better reminder than a string around the finger. around snakes can be a risky business, as Bill Hask learned early in his career. Therefore, as a scientist, he decided to minimize his risk. Now, to do this, he began injecting small doses of cobra venom into his veins 30 years ago. Today, his immunity is such that he survived, amazingly, 173 poisonous snake bites. But every bite causes him severe pain, and he's been close to death at least a dozen times. To obtain venom needed for medical research, Bill and Nancy usually milk the king cobra once a week in the relative safety of the laboratory. But just for our You Asked For It cameras, Bill has agreed to show us once again the technique that earned him worldwide fame as a snake handler. The reason this ominous looking creature is called a king cobra is because it's the only living creature that can kill an elephant with one bite. Now, even though Bill has been doing this for 30 years, when you're dealing with a king cobra, you can't relax for a second, or your next move may be your last, immunity or no immunity. Bill's concentration must be almost painful in its intensity. Talk about being eyeball to eyeball. Bill's only means of trapping the snake is to force it to confront him head on. Now, this means he has to get the snake angry enough to strike at him. A serpent striking range equals the distance it has reared itself off the ground. Well, Bill is now a perfect target. His every move is life or death. The two opponents eye each other warily. One poised to strike, the other to seize. And now, this is the right instant. again in slow motion and you saw it because you asked for it